Welcome to Silver Pro, sponsored by SD Bullion. I am your host, Yankee Stacking. I'm joined by my co-host, Silver Dragons. Hey, what's up? Happy to be here. This is the exciting season four of Silver Pros, and we are super stoked to have Tyler Wall, the CEO of our new sponsor, SD Bullion. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. Tell us when and how SD Bullion came to be. Uh, that's, that's a great question. Um, so the story started back actually in pharmacy school. I met a guy named uh, John who was, uh, he eventually turned out to be the co-founder of the company. But it was about 2004, 2005. We were in, a, we were in the computer lab um, together. And, and I, I was kind of leaning over a little bit because I just kind of was curious what he was looking at. And he had, he had the screen kind of tilted sideways a little bit. And I was, I was like, that's kind of weird. And uh, so I leaned over a little bit more and I saw him looking at uh, precious metal prices. And I said, well, what are, you, what are you looking at precious metal prices for? And I actually had stock prices up, on my, you know, some stocks I, I was following up on my screen. And he asked me, well, what are you looking at stocks for? So over the next, you know, several years, we were going back and forth with, you know, our different investing strategies. You know, I, I always was trying to tell him, hey, precious metals don't pay a yield. He was telling me, but yeah, but, but you know, realize what the true inflation is right now and, and the upside of precious metals. And then uh, 2008, the uh, financial collapse happened and, and it became really apparent to me that, you know, precious metals held, a, a, you know, a position in everybody's portfolio. Um, I remember my, uh, my my mom was an insurance agent at the Allstate and one of her financial advisors was there one day and I was telling him, you know, about this uh, interest I had invested in, you know, silver specifically, I said, it doesn't make any sense. Silver is at, you know, $20 an ounce. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden it goes down to eight or nine on record demand. I mean, nobody, nobody's predicting in the next six to eight months. They try to teach you this. I have an MBA as well. They try to teach you that the stock market is predicting what's going to happen over next six to eight months, next six to eight months. And I said, that's, this is, there's no way that silver, silver prices right now are pricing in what's going to happen in six to eight months. And so I became, uh, you know, an uh, investor myself personally in 2008. And then uh, I always wanted to start my own business. And so it took a couple of years after I got out of pharmacy school, um, saved every dollar I could, invested it in silver and sometimes gold. And then 2000 and, uh, early in 2012 is when, you know, SD Bullion launched. So you know, we started small. We started with, you know, one employee and, uh, you know, we honestly didn't even have a website uh, when we first started. For the first six months, I think our, our motto was nothing fancy, just a telephone number and low prices. When I was actually on the phone uh, the first week and we took four phone calls that first week. It was Wednesday through Friday. We opened on a Wednesday. Four. And uh, I, we had four phone calls. Three of them were from Canada and we had zero orders. <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know now we're the third largest precious metal retailer and you know i, I remember sitting across from the uh the kitchen table and from my father-in-law and he asked me how my first week went and um you know i said i oh, we had four phone calls and he asked me how many orders i said zero and he just was laughing in my face <laughs> thinking that this was never going to go never going to work you should probably just go back to your day job as a pharmacist and give it up but luckily we didn't and uh you know it's it's been a wild ride and obviously the demand just is just off the charts right now myself and the other co-founder we threw in one monster box of silver eagles each and that was our initial inventory we only had i think we only had four or five products uh, um you know in the first couple of months that we that we carried and uh you know we didn't have hundreds or thousands of products we only had four or five we just said we just wanted to focus in on offering the lowest price to our, our customer at that point and we knew that we we couldn't do that if we took on a lot of products. And we started with zero debt. We have no debt today. We've never had debt, and we've just always, you know, grew within our means. That's awesome. So it started off with you kicking in a monster box, right. and now all these years later, you're actually giving away a monster box, <laughs> which true. is ridiculously <laughs> awesome. If people don't know about that, definitely check out the link down below. Yep. sdbullion.com slash silver pros and enter that giveaway because you can win some free silver what's your view on silver and gold uh, like in general what are they to you and why should people be stacking them for me um 
you know, I look at, at gold and silver as, as, as basically my, my cash, my money. And, uh, you know, if there's other business opportunities or, or different investments I want to take, um, I invest in those, but you know, when I'm sitting idle, you know, I, I like to have almost, I mean, a hundred, I like to have hundred percent of my net worth in precious metals. So I'm a little bit extreme. You know, some people that want to do 10%, 15% for me, um, I'm comfortable looking at say the last hundred years of history. And, you know, sometimes you know, financial advisors want to focus in on maybe the last decade, last two decades, last three decades, last, you know, four or five decades. But when you go back, to when you know the Federal Reserve was formed in the early 1900s, and you start looking at you know home prices, automobile prices, all these other different prices. That's it's it's mainstream news right now. You know I've been looking at that stuff for a decade. I'm sure a lot of your listeners have been too, and we've been seeing this divergence of the dollar devaluation, and and it's been going on for a while. And and financial advisors just want to focus in on the short term. They want to try to reference whatever you know it may be convenient to them to sell you know, mutual fund stocks or whatever. But when you look at, you know, monetary history over the last thousands of years, precious metals have always held and stored their value. And for me, um, that's why I like to, to hold them. And I like to hold more silver than gold because I feel like, I feel like the prices are manipulated personally. It's my own personal opinion. And, uh, you know, you look at, um, you look at the short positions, for example. So the days of production is is uh, basically this graph, and it looks at all the different commodities. And for me, it's like, you know, look at silver. It's like two hundred and over two hundred days of production needed to cover the short positions in the commodity. And for me, it, it doesn't make any sense um, on a on a long term horizon how this can continue. Well, I hold all four of the precious metals, but my my biggest concentration is silver. That's just that's just my personal belief. There is a uniqueness and a special opportunity with silver, isn't there, Tyler? Yeah, I mean, silver's got a lot of, uh, you know, different demands out there, except besides retail demand, right? I mean, uh, industrial demand is uh, is over 50% of the silver consumption that happens on, a, on an annual basis. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that continues to increase. I mean, I, I'm putting solar panels on my house right now. It, it's because I see... It's because I see that the, the ROI right now is maybe six, seven years. Um, but I mean, I, I think inflation goes double digits like it continues to be in double digits. Last year was the first year that there was a deficit in, in silver, um, you know, demand versus production. And this year is project, projected to widen to 20 million ounces. Um, so, I, you know, me, I, I continue to see that that demand for silver industrial demand continued to increase and i know i know the retail demand has just been off the charts i mean i thought 2020 covid year was going to be a record year and i didn't know forever done top it again right because i mean there's there's so much demand interest with with covid the in precious metals but the 2022s is 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 going to blow it away i mean we, we could surpass all 2020 sales at sb bullion in the first six months of 2022 if this continues at this pace uh, Dr. Tyler, if you could just talk about new stackers, what do you think they should be focusing on right now? That's that's a really tough question. I mean, for us that have been in the market for a while, I mean, it, it it's tough. My one of my favorite products is the Silver Eagle, and it's going for fourteen, fifteen dollars over spot right now. I mean, we probably have thirteen or fourteen Crazy. for brand new years, but. That just seems so high, especially on a historical context, but the demand continues to outpace what the U.S. Mint can produce or is producing. And um, so I, I probably have to go to, you know, down the list. I mean, my second normal product would be, uh, you know, 90% silver. You know, I, I love 90% silver. So my, my normal products to go to on a, on a, a new customer um, or, or myself when I was new, uh, I, Silver Eagle is 90% silver. So 90% silver. Um, divisible barter it's like fractional silver but lots of times you can get it for close to spot and i think that's that's got to be close to my number one product of silver eagles uh you know silver eagles are in there too and then i go down to the silver maples and um you know but those those are high too right now i probably have to go to um you know maybe a britannia a royal mint britannia product or a, you know a philharmonic product silver philharmonics i mean those things are, are still a little expensive on a on a, um, a longer term horizon, but the difference between uh, a silver round and uh, you know, a silver Philharmonic Britannia kangaroo, I mean, maybe it's a dollar, but 
I think that it's, it, in my personal opinion, I think the, do- the extra dollar is worth it for a coin versus a round. So, how does SD Bullion actually differentiate um, yourself from other Bullion dealers? Right. Yeah, it's, it's a good question. From, from day one, we've really focused on offering the products that we sell at, at the lowest prices we possibly can. Um, you know, we, we understand that, that there's other people out there selling products that are on our website. And we understand that it's, it's a commodity for a lot of people. It's an, it's an investment. So we want to have, you know, really uh, competitive prices. We want to offer the, you know, the service that everybody expects, whether I think there's a lot of people that, now that Amazon, Walmart.com, you know, everybody expects a very fast shipping process. And we have that. We, we're, we're focusing on that um, where we, we ship fast. We have a, a brand new facility. It's uh, uh, close to 40,000 square foot. And uh, it's, it's an immaculate building. It's very secure. And uh, we focus on getting packages out the door, you know, absolutely as quickly as possible. There's been stories of, over the years where, you know, some precious metal retailers, you know, went bankrupt. Um, and, and, and some people lost, obviously, some money with that. So we uh, obviously maintain a really clean balance sheet. We have zero debt. And, uh, you know, we, we pride ourselves in also our Christian faith. And we're not we're not shy on that. Anybody that receives a package from us knows that we're a, a Christian based company. Um, every, uh, some people might have saw the, you know, the truth series. You know, that's our uh, exclusive coin series where we have a roaring lion and a tree of life. And the truth series is probably one of the most it is the mo- one of the most popular coin series now in the world. I mean, next year, I think we'll do a million coins and uh I invite any of your readers to check that out. You have to buy the lion and the tree to uh, complete the verse. And I think mm. it's a, it's very collectible, uh, but yet we sell it at bullion premiums. I think that's another differentiator for us is that we're, we don't really hide, uh, you know, we, we tell everybody we're Christians and um, you know, you, you see that whether hopefully everybody sees that the way we handle your handle customers, handle your business. That's excellent. You know, one other thing that you guys do that, really stands out to me is that when people go to check out um it's really nice to pay by check or e-check so you don't have to get those fees and you guys actually allow guests to check out with the e-check is that correct right it makes it an easy easy checkout experience for for both new customers guest customers and and also our existing customer base we hope you enjoyed this interview with tyler wall today definitely check out their site for all your silver and gold bullion needs don't forget to enter that silver eagle monster box sweepstakes you don't want to miss it Uh, the link is right there and sd wouldn't it be super awesome if one of our viewers actually won that that would be awesome. If one of our viewers wins it, yes, we definitely need to talk to them, do a video and, and dive into that because that's super cool. Yep. Well, they get a call from me too. If you watch that uh, giveaway we gave out Monster Box last year, I'll, I'll be making that call personally again in 2022. That's exciting. Well, good luck uh, to everyone on that, and we'll see you next time on Silver Pros. Stack like a pro. Yeah.